welcome back to channel Madam Wong. Today we are going to learn at point one this version part two. How do you compare and interpret two sets of data based on a stem and lead plot? Question number one. The data shows the marks for the mid-year test and the marks for the end of year of 25 pupils in a class. So here is the marks for the mid-year test and the right-hand side are the marks for end of year test. A. Draw a stem and leaf plot to display the distribution of the marks for the mid-year test and the marks for the end of year test. Still remember how to draw stem and leaf plot? You already learned in Form 1 how to draw stem and leaf plot. But today we need to combine these two information into a stem and leaf plot. Left hand side, marks for mid year test. And the right hand side, marks for end of year test. Okay, and if you look at the data above, the lowest mark is 30 marks. And the highest mark is 78. Means that the number in this column start with number 3 until number 7. The first is 30, so I write 3, 0 means 30, 34, write 4 here, 34, 35, 38, again 38, so you need to write again at here, okay, 40, so you move to number 4 here, 40, 41, 42, 44, and 44 again, 45, 48, 49, 50, 53, 53, and again, 53, 56, 57, 60, 61, 62, 63, 70, 71, Okay, so we complete already marks for mid-year test. Now, I will fill in the marks for end-of-year test. We start with 34, 39, 40, 41, 42, 46, 47, 48, 52, 54, 55, 56, 56, 59, 59. Okay, now 64. 65, 66, 67, 69, 69, 71, 73, 76, and the last one, 78. After you complete the stem and leaf plot, don't forget write the key so you write like this three the line four means 34 months 
B, based on the stem and leaf plot in air, which test shows better pupils achievement? Justify your answer. The pupils achievement in end of the year test is better because there are more pupils scoring higher marks in test compared to mid-year. So from the stem and leaf plot, we can see clearly the result is improved. How do you compare and interpret two sets of the data based on a dot plot? Question number two, the data shows the size of shoes worn by 20 pupils in two different clubs, mathematics club and science club. A. Draw two dot plots with the same scale. So you must draw the scale from number 6 to 13. You draw like this from number 6 to number 13. And don't forget, never eat size of shoes for pupils in mathematics club. Okay, so now we start with 7.5. At point zero. Again, at point zero. So above at here, you have second point. At point five. At point zero. Again, the third point at the at. Six point five. Seven point five. Ten point five. 11, 9, 7, 6, 12.5, 7, 7.5, 7, 10.5, 7, 6.5, 7, 7.5, 6.5. So you plot like this. Measure if the first point you start from here, this line. Measure all the first point you start from the same line. Now we look at science club. Because the question asks us to draw two dot plots with the same scale, so the scale must start with C, even though here we don't have number C. Here we start with number 7.5, but we still need to draw the scale, scale like this. So now, after we draw the scale, we label it size of the shoes for pupils in science club. Again, we need to draw the dot plot. 7.5. 9 at point 5, 10, 9, 10.5, 10 11, 10.5, 10 9, 9, 10.5, 10, at point 5, 9.5, again 9.5, at point five, nine, eleven, nine point five, eleven. From the top plot, you can see most of the students, uh, most of the pupil were shoe with size nine. B, it compare the top plots obtained in A, which club has a wider dispersion? Justify your answer. Size of shoes for pupils in mathematics club is dispersed wider compared to science club. Okay, big club has bigger difference in size shoes. Difference in size of shoes for mathematics club is 12.5 minus 6. Okay, here 
12.5 minus the smallest size 6 equal to 6.5. Difference in size of shoe for science club is 11 minus 7.5 equal to 3.5. If you think this video is helpful to you, please subscribe and share. Thank you.